on the Red Barn on Highway 101 has been around for 40 years. Vendors set up shop each Sunday for the flea market, and it's a way of life for many on the Central Coast, especially the farming community that is made up mostly of Latinos. Not much has changed except for the CHP increased presence in the area that has a man claiming racial profiling. Right Manuel Delgadillo, who owns Tri-City Tow Company, is contracted to handle traffic issues on the Red Barn property. Last Sunday, Manuel witnessed what he believes is racial profiling by the CHP. What they're doing is they're private, parking on private par property, and then they are, as people drive into the Red Barn property, they are pulling them over, and as they're pulling them over, what I'm seeing is that the large majority, I would say all of them, um, are Hispanic and and they're basic and then they're towing their vehicles. They're towing their vehicles and they're abandoning people six miles from the closest town. The CHP says vehicles are being towed in large part because many of the drivers do not have driver's licenses. Delgadillo sprung into action and picked up his camera. After showing photos to CHP Captain William Pearlstein, he says that they are just doing their job. It has nothing to do with uh, racial profiling. This has everything to do with traffic safety. When asked if CHP is allowed to enforce vehicle code on private property, he responded. Uh, the, the vehicle code does not apply on private property, so um, our officers are not out there enforcing any laws or, or rules or regulations on private property. The captain explained that he did not know the exact nature of the traffic stop in the photo and could not properly assess it, but welcomes anyone with concerns to contact him. Delgadillo says that business at the Red Barn has been cut in half due to the increased presence of the CHP. I believe that people are afraid based on what happened last week at, I believe the numbers were something in the 60, uh, I believe it was about 60 cars that were pulled over and 30 or 40 were towed. Now once again, Captain Pearlstein invites anyone who has concerns to call the CHP and for those who only speak Spanish, the CHP has translators that can assist you. Now that number is 796-2100 if you have any concerns. Wendy Poon, your Central Coast News.